Hey everyone, today I am going to talk to you about a new method for deep fakes and which just happens with a single click. So this was released I think uh, quite recently yesterday or today. So so this is something I created very roughly, uh, very quickly as well. So here is the original video and I took a single image of Jennifer Lawrence and this is the results I got. <laughs> Though I wouldn't say it's really perfect. I mean, you you could uh, maybe increase the quality of the output image. You can use you know uh, upscalers for really using real as again stuff like that. You now to obviously increase uh, increase the output quality at least. So let me just show you the input image I've, I've given for this. So this was the input image, and whereas this is the input free video, right? So let me just show you how you can install this right away in your Windows laptop. It is uh, kind of like you, know, you do have to install a bunch of stuff. Whereas if you are on Linux, it's pretty straightforward. But yeah, let me just show you how you can install this. So first you have to clone this repo, right? Go to uh, the uh, folder where you are going to clone this. So for cloning it, you just type git clone and paste uh, the link. As I have already have this report, I'm not going to clone it again. Now go to the repo, right? CD root, okay? And once you are there, you just have to follow along with the uh, these things. So first, you have to download FMMPEG, right? I'll be pasting the links of all of these in, in the description down below, so don't have to worry about it. Once you have downloaded it, if you are on Windows, you also have to download this thing called K-Lite, right? Uh, there is some issues with the repo, at least right now, right off now, with Windows. So you also have to download this. So I suggest you download the K-Lite pack full. And you can use any server. I just download it similar to VLC Media Player as well. So that's about it. And once you're done with it, you just have to uh, install using pip install requirements.txt. Sorry. Okay, I think I did not copy that. So let's go with this. So once I just have to copy this and paste this as I have already done it, it will install a bunch of stuff, right? Uh, like I don't uh, have already done it, so I'm not going to do it again, right? And sometimes you might have a issue with the NumPy program. So I, I would suggest you to uh, uh, like reinstall NumPy or like go, to, uh, go to the latest version of NumPy. So that is one issue I was facing when I was running this repo. And next, the other thing you have to do is uh, download this file, right? You just have to download this file and put it here in the same folder. Uh, where the repo is. So I have the folder name as root. So I downloaded it and I have put it here. You just have to, you can download it from Mega. It's fairly simple. You just say save and yeah, as I have already downloaded it, I'm getting the save option. So once you're done with it, now you just have to, so if you're on Windows, you need to install Microsoft Visual C. I think I have it. So I, I did not install that. If you don't, you can you know, directly install it from here as well. I'll, I'll put these links also, so you don't have to worry about it. So let's see Microsoft. Okay, this is like download. You think? So yeah, I mean, let's look. Okay, so I think it's uh, Microsoft Visual no C2++. I, I think I have the 2017 version. So you can download this as well. I'll, I'll put this link this, uh, link also in the description below. So once you are done with all of this, if you have uh, a CUDA NVIDIA GPU, you can also in install the GPU option. Though at least right off now, it's not working with the Windows system. Uh, I don't know about the Linux part, but at least with Windows, it's not working. It's only using the CPU. So maybe it will get updated 
when you are seeing it. So as it is fairly new, there is a lot of uh, updates that's ha that are happening now, right now. So you don't have to worry about it. Okay. So once you are done with it, now you can just simply start. So to start it, you just have to say python run.py. Okay. So let's uh, go with python. I'm confused why I'm not able to copy this stuff. Okay. So just copy this. Paste it. So now you get an UI, right? So now it is running with the CPU itself. So now you have an option to select the face and select the target video. So we can now try it on a different video as well. So let me see if I have different videos. So these are like a bunch of videos I have collected. So let me try this with this because uh, the this is interesting. So let's try with this video. So let me just copy it here just to keep it nice and clean. Okay, we'll go with the same actress or should we try someone else? Uh, I'm I'm good with her. I'm, I'm good with Jennifer Lawrence. Okay, so let's start this. Fairly simple now. Uh, let's go with the selecting the face part. Go and select the face, right? So this is the JPEG file. I'm selecting that. And now remember, uh, now select target, which is RK, not MP4, right? Once you're done with it, you can just press start. And you can see where you have to save the output folder and output. So I'm going to save it as output RK, right? Dot MP4 and just press enter. Now you can see it's all, all running. So it will take a bunch of time depending on what kind of system you have right now. It's uh, running on a CPU, so it might take a bit more time than usual, right? Let me just pause the video for a while and show you when. So it will. Well, before I'm pausing the video, let me just show you what you get. You get a folder in which uh, you get all the images, right? And eventually, what happens is every one of the images uh, starts getting. You no, know, the face swap starts happening. So right now you can see this image. Okay, as uh, it's running on my CPU, it's my system is becoming a kind of slow. So uh, I would suggest you to wait if you have a GPU. You no, know, probably a day or so it will get resolved. But if you are you no know, eager as me and just want to try it out, so you can just uh, do it right now with these methods. So you can see these are like you know. All the uh, faces will get swapped eventually and you will get the results. So let me just pause the video and I'll show you the results once we are done with it. So guys, as you can see, you no, know, there is this one image with uh, the face is being swapped, right? Now you can see like this is how it will progress. Yeah, uh, if you don't worry, you can see the progress here, which is you no, know, <laughs> I think uh, will get improved in future on like how long you have to wait. Uh, but I would suggest you if you have GPU to use it with GPU in the future, because my system just got terribly slow and I'm not even able to open images at actually like this image took a couple of minutes to open up. So, so that's something, uh, yeah. So, you know, um, it just keeps on, uh, swapping the face and eventually you will get the output video. So let me just show you the final output. So it is finally done and let's just check out the output video. So this is the output arcane video. And damn, it looks you no know, pretty perfect. So what do you think guys? Uh, so this, you know, this is, this could literally create a lot of fake content. So. I would give you a disclaimer on using it ethically. So no, that's about it. I uh, hope you liked it. I keep, I keep my tutorials pretty simple. I uh, hope you enjoy it. If you have any queries, do comment down below and do subscribe to my channel and follow me on LinkedIn as well. If you have, you can directly contact me on LinkedIn or you no, know, you can mail me as well. I'll put all of the details down in the description as well. I hope you guys have a great day and use this technology ethically. Please. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.